<laughs> like a lady. Hello, I'm Sarah. This is the Sip and Knit podcast slash let's talk about yarn and knitting. And today we're talking about sock knitting because I, I think I found a new obsession. We're going to get into why. Um, but first, grab your beverage. For me today, it is, okay, this beer. We're trying it out for the first time today. Trying out this brewery as far as I know for the first time today. It's one of those things that like I could have ordered it on a menu at a bar somewhere in like a beer garden. I had no idea that it was Big Rock Brewery, but now I know because you have to go out of your way to support small businesses and Canadian ones because pandemic. The moral of the story is it's pretty delicious. And I think this is really smart marketing. They literally put the color flavor and IBU, which I don't know what that is. Some kind of index of some kind. I'll Google it and I'll put it in the description. But the moral of the story is they like make it so you know what to expect and you're not just going off like the can and the name. That's not right. <laughs> So it's really helpful when they're like, hey, you might like this if you like a light colored beer and a low hoppy flavor. And I'm like, cool, great, love that. Um, so that is all to say that grab a beverage. It can be coffee or tea. It can be water if you're trying to hydrate like that. Uh, for me, it's beer today. And grab your knitting or crocheting or making of some variety and listen to me talk about socks. If you watched my first video, which is on my channel, and it is named aptly, I'm sure, don't know what the name is yet. Spoiler alert, we're filming these very close together and nothing's on YouTube yet. So I talked about the first socks I ever knit. They're the Rye Socks by Tin Can Knits. They look like this. They are what you might consider not in pattern because I didn't do a garter stitch panel because I didn't like the look of it and neither did the person I was knitting them for. My girlfriend was like, I'd rather just have regular socks. And I was like, okay, you get regular socks then. Spoiler alert, they don't fit her. Um, you can listen to me ramble about that in the other video, but moral of the story is I was so excited to make her put them on her feet that I knit them probably only like a quarter inch too short, but it's one of those things where if like, if you have a hammer toenail, like she kind of does, I love you, baby. Uh, you're gonna blow through the socks and she feels bad. I knit them, it was a whole thing. I, <laughs> you didn't know you had sharp toenails? You do. Honey. <laughs> uh, so um, instead of being patient and knitting them the length they're supposed to be, I stopped knitting them because I was like, look, baby, wear them. It's the winter time, you need cute woolly socks. And now they don't fit hers. I stopped knitting socks after that because I was like, well, Fingering weight yarns kind of scares me and sock knitting, albeit gratifying because they're smaller projects. Um, he's in your Amazon bag. Do you have a cat? The moral of the story is I stopped knitting socks and I decided that they weren't for me because I uh, don't know why. I think I just was like, no, um, and stopped. Oh, how the times have changed. So that was like six months ago. Fast forward to now. Uh, <laughs> you don't love me! Um, I decided one day while on Ravelry slash the YouTubes slash Instagram where hand dyed yarn and self striping yarn and sock patterns in general were just kind of taking over. And if you watch the grocery girls like I do, you know that they always kind of have a sock project going on because they're small and they're gratifying. And you know, it's an easy to pick up while you're waiting in the car for your grocery delivery or whatever, right? And I was like, I want that. You know, I was knitting a color, an all over color work sweater that is a test knit that is now not meeting the deadline because it's a long story, but my hands, I learned what hand pain from knitting feels like and I couldn't knit for a little while and that sweater got put on the uh, back burner. It'll be done soon. Right. Anyway, the point is, um, I was like, yeah, I want something that is at lunch, at work, at work, in my home office, <laughs> at, during lunchtime, I can pick up that sock, I can knit a few rounds. There's not 
a color work chart, depending on the stock. There's nothing really to think about except for, cool, I get to do a few stitches and we'll move on with our lives. So I decided to cast on a sock. And she's pretty. <laughs> Sun went away. So exciting. This is what we want our lighting to look like. Tell me it's not pretty. I mean, exposed brick is meant to be Oh no, I've been betrayed. Anyway, the point is I suppose brick is meant to be moody and delicious and warm. And most of the videos will look like that, but we can't wait until it's dark and it's still summer. But in February, when it gets dark at 4 p.m. and I'm filming my video at 4.30, ooh baby, it's gonna be luscious. Okay, the point is we're talking about the sock that I cast on. So my cat is under the blinds. That's probably not good. I cast on a sock and I cast on with the sparkliest sock yarn I have ever seen. I understand a sparkle base is a thing. A lot of dyers do it. Um, Corner of Craft is one of them. She dyes yarn based on D&D and I love it, but she's in the UK and that conversion is just not for me. Um, but I will, if you are in the UK and you're watching this, I will send you over to go look at her stuff and probably follow her on Instagram and YouTube because that's some gorgeous yarn, okay? I just, it's not in the budget for me. But if it is for you, please go buy it so I can live through you. The point is, Sparkle Sock yarn is not new. I just didn't realize how gorgeous it was. So I got it from, what is it called? Who are they? Twisted Yarn Store on Etsy does a um, Doctor Who yarn kit. And my girlfriend, who is um, the most delightful human. <laughs> Shucks folks, I'm speechless. Got me the set for our one year anniversary and it was a whole thing and she was like, be my companion. And if you know what Doctor Who is, you know that that's really fucking adorable. Um, so she got me this. And we'll see if it'll focus. I don't know if it will. Kind of, sorta. Just look up Doctor Who yarn on Etsy and it's one of the first things that will pop up. It is a set with this sparkle blue, or you can get non-sparkle, but let's be honest, you want the sparkle. Um, sparkle blue and then this like variegated, I've pulled out to swatch. Don't look at it. Uh, pink, gray, blue, I think specks of purple too. It kind of will be like a self micro striping when it's knit up, um, really gorgeous stuff. So I cast on this sock. Um, this is the front. It does have a pattern to it. And I chose to do the 72 stitch um, option in the pattern that I'm using. I cast on this sock and I went, huh, I only have this and the gray, white, and pink, and I have two skeins of each. And then when that happens, when, when, I, when I, you know, knit socks out of that, I'm, I'm out of sock yarn and that can't happen. So insert online purchases. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Yarncanada.com happened. If you live in Canada and you are like, goddamn, uh, the conversion rate from US dollar to Canadian dollar is a bitch and a half. Also, shipping sucks. Also, you get slapped when it goes past the border with those duties. Yarncanada.com is your friend. Sometimes they have um, discontinued colorways. Um, they don't have all of the yarns, like let's be real, but they do have a good source for like Lion Brand and Red Heart and um, what's that other one I'm not thinking of? The Yarnspirations like Umbrella, they have quite a bit of that. So if you're on a budget, that's great. They also have a lot of the Regia four ply fingering, which is what I'm going to talk about. Um, they have self striping and they have the plain colors and it's just, it's all very exciting. Okay, so I got three skeins of it. And I have plans for one and then kind of plans for the other in the sense that I know that this will, these will be gift socks, this really fun colorway, but I don't actually know the pattern, um, but I know the pattern for this one. And then this is for me selfishly because I think it's fucking pretty. So let's talk about the patterns that I'm gonna knit, okay? Okay. Okay, so 
the first one. I found the pattern first and then decided I needed a solid color yarn because it is one of those patterns that is so beautiful that if you did it in anything else other than maybe like a slightly tonal color, um, I don't think you would be doing it justice. That's my opinion. Take it as, or leave it. You don't have to do the sock in a solid color yarn. I'm sure there's many people who have done otherwise. For me though, this pale blue, again, it's the Regia four ply. It is like a dusty, dusky blue, gray. It's so pretty, right? So thank God for Yarn Canada. I think this was like, un it was under $15, right? So half of a, um, Indie dyed scheme. I'm not saying, oh, no, no. I'm not saying that Indie dyed yarn is overpriced. Please do not uh, mistake what I just said for that. I think that people should charge what they are worth. My point is my budget allows half the cost of an Indie dyed scheme most of the time. Sometimes I treat myself, okay? Let's talk about the pattern. They are the Poet Socks by Sari. I don't remember her last name, but if you, on Ravelry and or um, Instagram, if you search hashtag poet socks, you'll find them. These are the socks. It's hard to show, but they have this like really beautiful leafy lace pattern with seed stitch. Just if you have your phone close by or you're, you're on your laptop maybe watching this, just do a quick searchy search. Do yourself a favor. I am probably going to cast these on, fuck up a few times, curse, frog it, recast on, sigh a bunch. My girlfriend's gonna think that I'm having a fucking conniption because I probably am, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna have these goddamn socks, okay? You're gonna go on the journey with me. I'll let you know how many times I fucked up, and you know what? Some of the fuck ups, probably gonna stay in the final object. That's all I'm saying, okay? But beautiful yarn, beautiful pattern. It should be a great sock. Okay, moving on. Okay, the second scheme that I bought on yarncanada.com because I have control issues. Um, it's pink and it's purple, it's blue. It has a very small stripe of gray. And it's nice because on the label they show you what it should look knit up. So it is a self-striping yarn, which um, I've actually never done a pair of self-striping socks as you, if you've been watching, you know that I did my rye socks, no garter panel, and then I just cast on these blue ones and that's it for me for sock knitting so far. Um, but my stepsister is, she's cool. She's young. She's hip. She's Gen Z. Okay. She does the TikToks and the Instagrams and like, I am intimidated by her, um, but I took a cutout of her foot last time I saw her um, to do, because I, do, okay, listen. <laughs> I have had the Fish Lips Kiss heel pattern in my Ravelry cart for what felt like ages, and I bought it, and I'm so mad it took me so long, because it's more than just, here's how to do this heel, it is, comprehensive as fuck. It's like, here you go. Here is how you measure the person's foot. Take a measurement from the toe to the middle, to the heel, to this. It tells you everything you need to know about knitting socks. So you're never like, I don't know. I'm never, listen, I'm never gonna knit a sock that doesn't fit. Again. I love that. So I decided when I bought this, didn't decide it was for her, but when I got it and I asked her if she was into the bright color pink purple moment, she was like, that sounds amazing. So I was like, this is definitely for her. Ooh, the lighting is changing again. It definitely got moody and dark in here. Tell me it's not cute. Okay, and I said, I'll make you the shorty socks because you're like, she's too cool for school. I feel like she's more of a short sock kind of gal. I'm not gonna make her like a mid calf one, like unless that's her vibe and maybe it is, but I'm gonna make her the shorty socks for the first go around. Um, this one that I found is called the No Fear Shorty Socks by Denise DeSantis. Um, I like seeing the no fear in the title because I have fear. I have a lot of it, 
Okay. I sense much fear in you. You heard me talk about how I'm going to probably fuck up with my poet socks. It's going to be a whole thing. I'm going to sound like I have, I don't know, <laughs> like something worse to me has happened than like dropping a stitch in a, in a sock. But when I do, I lose it. Okay. Anger management. I don't know. Maybe. I'm always angry. Moral of the story is I'm going to make my very cool Gen Z sister a pair of shorty socks out of this. And I am so excited. Okay. The next one, they're for me, okay? This yarn is like a creamsicle, but like with like blue raspberry speckles. It screams summer. When it came in and I pulled it out, girlfriend's favorite color is orange. If you watched the first video, you know that. I literally looked at her in the eyeballs and I said, I know it's orange, but it's for me because it's freaking cute. And to be honest, I have not a clue what pattern I'm going to knit with this. The thing is, it is self-striping, right? So in theory, I feel like a vanilla sock does it the most justice, but I like fun socks, okay? I like patterns that have like a little bit of slip stitch or like maybe some lace happening. Maybe I'll do, what are they called? Hermione's Everyday Socks. I think those ones, if I'm not mistaken, make it so that the self-striping still looks stripey. Um, if I have enough people watching this and there are people who actually care enough to share patterns with me, could you comment down below what pattern I should should knit my socks in. And if you're like, girl, just do a vanilla with like a contrast toe and heel. You're probably right. If you listen to me talk about the new yarn that I just bought and you're like, wow, those are really pretty. I wonder what the colorway name is. <laughs> and then I just like skipped along to talk about a pattern that I want to knit. The blue that I'm going to knit the poet socks out of is, wow. Yep. A language I don't speak. Oh no. <laughs> ah, I'm so upset. Guys, where do I find the name of the colorway? I feel like this should be easier. 10 years. That's amazing. Machine washable. I probably will not. Uh, there's a number. Oh no. Okay. I'm really sorry. The blue one doesn't have a, um, a color name, but it's very pretty. These ones do though, for sure. So oh, you're welcome. Um, they're the opal, like what's the word I'm looking for? collection, the opal collection. Um, and this one is in French. God damn it. <laughs> party. There it is. Okay. It is the party colorway. Can they see that under my thumb? Maybe not. Maybe they can. Okay. It is the party P A R T I E. I don't know why colorway one, nine, three, eight. Okay. Let's make it easy for everyone involved. I'm going to link the Yarn Canada link for each of these, because that's where I bought it from. And then if you can't buy it from Yarn Canada or you don't want to because you're in a country other than Canada, you can just look it up that way, right? Um, oh, God damn it! this one also says party. You didn't see that coming. But it's 2398. So maybe they don't have names. This one's adventure, this one is... Yeah, that's the problem. So this one is the adventure colorway. I know this for sure. This one is the Symphony der Trom. Sacre bleu. Not a language I speak. I'm very sorry if I just offended somebody. Uh, but like I said, I'll put the links down below so you know what you're looking for. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's it. Cat, why? Last, certain, certainly not least, 
Um, I do have a pattern that I don't have yarn for that I think is literally the cutest pair of socks you could possibly knit. Um, they are once again a sari pattern. I have her name in front of me now. It's Sari Nordland. She's from Sweden if I'm not mistaken. I've watched a couple of her podcasts as well. She is a prolific knitter. Like people people know who she is, right? She's kind of like an Andrea Mowry or uh, Caitlin Hunter or something like that where you're like, yeah, I, I could recognize her patterns from across the room, right? So her pattern that I really want to knit for my sister are the ballerina socks. Once again, my sister, far cooler than me, very hip, very like adorable style. So I saw these and I said, listen, if those are not on Jenna's feet, I have done her a disservice. If you couldn't see those, just take a take a quick, once again, Instagram hashtag or however it is you wanna search them. She probably even has a video talking about them. They're the ballerina socks. Um, freaking stunning, okay? Do I have the yarn for it? No, I do not. Do I accept your suggestions for yarn? Absolutely. Um, so let me know your favorite hand dyed yarn folks um, in the comments below. Maybe, hopefully they are Canadian, if possible. Um, if they're not Canadian, it's not the end of the world. I do like to support Indie Dyers when financially able, um, and these will likely be a gift for my sister, so I am willing to spend that extra little bit to make it just like an extra little bit special. Um, so that being said, if you have a yarn dyer who you think is literally the best in the world, please leave a comment down below, leave me their Instagram handle or their website or however it is you found them. Um, and I will definitely take a look and then hopefully maybe one day knit some socks out of their yarn. Mm -hmm.